up, Loop community? My name's Edge, I'm a Logic Pro certified trainer, and in this session, we're gonna show you how you can use Looptimus to control your tracks inside of MainStage. Okay, one thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go to where it says Window in the toolbar, and I wanna go to where it says MIDI Message Monitor. And we're gonna be using Program Change Mode when we're working with MainStage. If I press any of the buttons on Looptimus, you'll see that I'm bringing in not just a note change, but I'm also bringing in a program change. You'll also notice that each of these patches here on the left-hand side have some program changes already assigned to them. And if I click on one and head over here, you can kind of see that there's a bank select and a program change message already assigned. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn bank select off because we're not really gonna be using more than one bank, but I am gonna use program change. So you can kind of see that now I've got program change it's set to zero. These go all the way up to 127 or 128, depending on if your program changes start from zero or one. But in here, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure uh, that all of my patch changes are set to the appropriate program change. And it looks like they are. If I wanted to do this all in one step, you could actually click this little gear icon up here at the top. You can go down to where it says reset program numbers, and it would then go ahead and reset all of these program numbers to read in order. So zero, one, two. And what's great about this is that now when we send a program change, intro, two, three, four, you can see that main stage updates. So I'll press the second button on my Looptimus and you can see it automatically switches over to unending. If I click the third one, it'll go ahead and switch over to the next song on the list. And so as you can see, you can lay out all of your songs this way and use all of the banks on Looptimus to actually trigger each of those individual songs. Now, the other thing that you definitely wanna set up is that on each of these patches, you definitely wanna make sure that you instantly silence the previous patch. This will basically send main stage a message to stop and then start once you switch between patches. Great, so that's how you can use Lutimus to start songs uh, per each patch. However, we're kind of left without the ability to stop. Uh, so in the next video, we'll show you how we can set up a layout that's gonna allow us to stop songs and restart them in case we need to.